The 1920s were rollicking when the Transcontinental Air Transport Company built an airport outside of the small town of Fort Sumner. According to the website Stratocat.com, the facility was just part of Transcontinental's coast-to-coast -coast network for air passenger service. Then, brother, can you spare a dime? The Great Depression hit, the company collapsed, and a decade would pass before the airport saw activity. That was when World War II erupted, and the Army Air Corps began using the facility as a training base. Nothing will stop the Army Air Corps. Finally, when the fighting ended, the government gave control to the town of Fort Sumner, which still operates it. Eventually, NASA arrived, and the website said the scientific balloon flight facility became an important presence, the second permanent launch location for NASA's balloon program. The first test of balloon material took place in March of 1987. The first flight launched on November 18, 1987, and landed 23 miles south of Ardmore, Oklahoma. Launching balloons, a far less expensive platform for gathering higher atmospheric data than rockets, was also rather low-tech. A rented crane with outriggers to keep the crane from tipping over was used for the first launches. Eventually, the scientific balloon facility would own a 35-ton crane but during a heavy storm, heavy winds lifted the crane and turned it 90 degrees. As a result, the Mobile Launch Vehicle, or MLV, was designed by New Mexico State University engineers. When commercial firms did not provide acceptable bids, NMSU built it themselves. The MLV arrived at Fort Sumner in 1991 and was dubbed Big Bill. Today, the facility conducts two operational launch campaigns twice yearly, from May through June and September through October.